Stormfront was introduced in Season 2 of The Boys as the hopeful new soup and part of the Seven who wasn't afraid to take a stand against Vaught. She spoke her mind and seemed like a breath of fresh air in a world filled with corrupt heroes. Then, it turned out she was the worst of them all, a secretly racist Nazi formerly known as Liberty. So here are her best and absolute worst moments of Season 2. Well, hello! <laughs> oh my god. Hi! My Nana's your biggest fan. I'm Stormfront. Round tables until 4, print one on until 6. Jesus, we'll if she vibrates any faster, that happens. stick up her ass is gonna explode. <laughs> but why does it matter whether heroes have a dick or a vag? I mean, shouldn't we all just, you know, be competent at our jobs? I don't think girls do anything better. I think chicks and dicks are in it together. Thought won't let me have pockets in this thing. You can see every crease in my ass. You can practically see up Starlight's uterus. You want to talk about girl power? Let's talk about getting some pockets. And all the girls dressed like Disney sluts would make fun of me. And you know what I thought? I thought, who f***ing cares? Mm. Pippi didn't care. She never cared about being polite or cute. F*** this world for confusing nice with good. A great start. Really good bones. Uh, I just have a few headlines. Yeah, totally. Listen, we can tweak dialogue right up to the day of production. Yeah, it's not really tweaks. It's more global. Like, uh, you write all women as either unknowable Hitchcock bitches or Michael Bay f dolls. I mean, I get that a lifetime of jerking off to Transformers didn't exactly make you popular with the ladies, but um, a little effort would be nice. I'm going to do everything in my power to renew my light. Mm. Not just for you, but for all the female people that I've offended. Renew your light? Did you just f***ing join the Church of the Collective? Maybe. You're an idiot. Bot wants you to feel calm and safe so that you continue to buy their shitty toys and drinking their shitty energy drinks and going to see their shitty movies. They all love me. Well, congratulations. I mean... This constant need to be loved by everyone is kind of pathetic, but, um, yay. You spent $273 million on that Saving America bullshit, and I am running circles around you with five guys on laptops churning out memes. I practically pay them with Arby's gift cards. I mean, clearly you like me. You've been eye-f***ing me like a lovesick stand girl all day. Wow, that, uh... I mean... That is a performance. Oh my God, look, I'm like tearing up. Don't be a pussy, laser my fucking tits. Can you believe Ryan has never seen cats? What happened to your hair? I get it. I would feel lonely too if I was cooped up all day by myself in this West Elm Death Star. Everyone always recording on their phone all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't even do, do your, your job, job anymore. <laughs> I just killed six subjects out there like a f***ing teddy bear picnic. I was born in 1919 in Berlin. The most important man in the room. Frederick Vaught. We are in a war for the culture. The other races are grinding us down and taking what is rightfully ours, but we can fight back. Yellow bastard. <laughs> you snooze, you lose, Gramps. Why are you doing this to me, lady? Ain't you supposed to be a hero? I am a hero for killing a black piece of shit like you. That place used to be pure. 
And then they just started letting all kinds of people in, you know? I don't know. So why don't you tell me? Well, I think you do know. Some people are quality and others are garbage. I heard they're retiring you. So unfair. You are a special kind of poison flower, huh? Going against your own people? You mean f***ing white people? Starlight. Superheroes. Don't be racist. He's Edgar. Maybe. I mean, he is pretty smart, especially for his kind. Bad guys want to hurt us just because of what we look like. They want to wipe us from this earth just because of the color of our skin. Really? It's called white genocide. You don't need 50 million people to love you. You need 5 million people f***ing pissed. Emotion sells. Anger sells. You have fans. I have soldiers. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Cool Deep Singh's family. Starlight as a traitor is trending number one, and we've got a million tweets in support of Compound V. A common enemy rallies the base. Just trust me. There you are, you slippery little bitch! I'm assuming it's you who sent all those lies to the press. They're not lies. The pictures are clearly deep fakes and you're a lying slut. People love what I have to say. They believe in it. They just don't like the word Nazi. That's all. Hey, Kraut. And there you have Stormfront's best and definitely worst moments. Was there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.